how's it going YouTube? So in this video, I'm just gonna quickly go over um, a couple of the modifications that I've made so far to the GX460. All right, everybody. So the first thing we can talk about are the tires. I went ahead and replaced the stock tires with uh, Hankook Dynapros all-terrain. Uh, more of the most size, uh, 275, 65, 18s. So they are a 32 inch tire, um, no lift. I'm not getting any rubbing on normal driving. Um, I do get a little bit of a rub uh, on full tilt if like the, if the road's a little uneven. So on a trail, like I'll get an occasional rub. And um, it's coming from exactly where all the other GX460 owners are having um, rubbing issues. It's that same little bolt that holds the running board in place, uh, the inner inner bolt. The next thing I did was black out all the chrome trim on the entire truck. Um, given that it's a Lexus and Lexus loves to let people know that you're in a luxury vehicle by adding chrome everywhere. And um, I felt the GX just had way too much chrome. Blacked out the front grille. The rear trim pieces on the, on the, what do you call it, a trunk lid? No, we don't call it a trunk, the the, the rear door, the rear hatch. Um, blacked out those chrome pieces, blacked out the chrome trim that's along the, the molding on the door and the door handles. I'm perfectly happy with these wheels now that I, I, I changed the color on them. I actually used a Plasti Dip uh, graphite color I was thinking of just using black like everybody else, but it's really nice with the with the color that the GX is. The roof rack was custom fabricated by Top Shelf Fabrication. They're out over in Hesperia, California. Um, it's not too far of a drive for me. They pretty much, you know, just measure it up. Uh, all the stock mounting locations for the GX were used, the, the stock roof rails. Um, those mounting points were used. Um, and turnaround, well, I mean, with, with everything going on right now, the turnaround was about uh, a week. Um, and yeah, it's, it's one inch diameter tubing. Um, custom mounts were made so they can just bolt directly onto the, uh, onto the truck. Um, what's cool about the mounts is that they're adjustable, so you can line it up perfectly. So it makes installation a lot easier. You know, you're not sitting there trying to loosen one while tighten the other and then tighten everything down. You, you don't really have to do that with these mounts because they're, you can slide them to exactly where they need to be. They do sit a little bit onto the body, I mean, onto the roof of the, of the GX. So, I mean, if you are worried about pinching the roof, like the, the actual roof, like the metal part, you know, you might want to be careful about that. Um, but, but other than that, the roof rack is completely solid, no issues. Um, I did have to add a, a wind fairing. It worked perfectly, I mean, without it, it's like the wind is basically screaming inside the cabin. But um, yeah, so no issues with the roof rack. You know, anyone in the Southern California, Go ahead, hit, go ahead and um, look up Top Shelf Fabrication on Instagram. There's a lot of stuff for 5th Gen Foreigners, but um, you can pretty much do it all. It does it all in-house. I had it uh, bare metal. It was just bare metal when I had it done. So, you know, I, I couldn't afford a powder coat at the time, which he, they could, Top Shelf can powder coat it. I just didn't have the extra money for that. So I was recommended I was recommended steel it coatings. Um, it's basically a coating in a spray can. And uh, apparently a lot of off-road racing teams, like a lot of teams that run uh, King of the Hammers and stuff, are painting, excuse me, are painting their chassis with it. So I bought, how many cans did I use? I think I bought two cans to do a couple layers. I think like three or four layers on the actual roof rack. and. Um, the finish is the finish is really nice. It's a smooth finish, and it's supposed to be tough. I mean, obviously, it's a roof rack. I'm not going to be banging the roof rack into anything. Um, 
just yet or purposefully the finish is really nice how many times have i said that already three times and it's also rust resistant corrosion resistant so that's what i was really looking for because i wanted to spray it one time and not have to deal with removing it again and respraying it and stuff like that. So I'm actually gonna use the, I have to use that coating for the bumper on the 80. So like I said, guys, it's a really quick video. Um, not really much has been done to the GX as of yet. You know, I mean, we're still, we're still taking care of a couple of other things, but um, you know, I hope to get back on the trail soon and just, not really much time you know with work and and uh, taking care of the baby and my wife being in school and everything so it's just uh scheduling's a little tough so that's why the videos haven't really been coming out but um i hope everyone's doing well during this this whole stay at home covid thing um i know a couple counties out there are extending the the stay at home order so i know everyone's already reached the point of boredom and and whatnot but you know hang in there um but so yeah, so thanks for watching guys. Right, if you so like if you like that video, please consider subscribing by clicking this link right here. And if you want to see other videos just like it, go ahead and click these links right here. Thanks a lot.